Okay. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to use a graph, and we're going to do so a little graph analysis, and create a graph of f and f double prime by looking at a graph of f prime. So first off, we're given right here a graph of f prime, as is stated right here. And we want to determine, first off, what is, we're going to sketch a graph of f. Okay, so we're going to sketch a graph of f. Now to do this, we have to understand what is the relation between f prime and f. We have to understand that f prime is the slopes of f. Okay, so those are the slopes of all the values of f. So when we're graphing this, we need to translate what's happening here. So for this first part, what we know is that we see a constant line here. That constant line means that f prime has a slope of 2. Or sorry, f prime is equal to 2, so that means f, I apologize, has a slope of 2. Well, if f has a slope of 2, that means that it's going to be a line on this graph. So I'm going to use a red. Red is going to be um, the color that I'm going to use for f. So starting here, and really since we're not given an initial condition or whatnot, we can just start at any point. I'm going to just start right there. Okay. So I'm going to say we're going to have our point here. Okay. The derivative does not exist here, but that's okay. Um, derivative doesn't exist at corners, cusps, and other points. But we're going to draw this first seg segment on the interval from negative infinity to negative 1. We're going to create a slope of 2. So rise and run. And so we have this right here. And we connect the dots. La, la, la. And there's our first graph. So this is f. And f in the first part from negative infinity to negative 1 has a slope of 2. Now for the next part, we're going to look at our graph. And we see that um, we do have discontinuity here at negative 1. So it'd be a good corner cusp. But then we see that right here on this segment, right? f prime is negative. Well, when f prime is negative, that means that f is going to be decreasing on this interval. We then see we have a critical point here, so that is when f prime equals 0. So it's probably going to be a horizontal tangent, so f could be a max or a min. Okay, and then we see right here where it's going to be increasing, so we know that f, all right, since f prime is positive, that means f is going to be increasing. Okay, so knowing this information, I'm going to move this over here. We're going to take this, and we know that right here we're going to have a min. So I don't know how low it goes. Okay, we there is a way of figuring out. But I'm just going to do a little sketch. And we're going to say that this graph right here, we're going to decrease. It's going to have a horizontal tangent. Then it's going to start to increase up to 1. And there we have it. All right, so that's our next graph. And we can see here that there will be this continuity because we have a corner and a cusp right here. And... Approaching two different values, two different slopes, therefore we have discontinuity on our derivative graph. For the next part, we once again see that f prime is has is equal to two. So once to know we, we know that f is going to have a slope, or the graph is going to have a slope of two. So starting here, we're going to graph, we're going to rise one over one, and that's going to go on to infinity, but we have a line segment going like that. Okay, and so it's going to go up and has a slope of 2, and we have our graph. And so here's a sketch of f prime, identifying what is happening to f prime and how that relates to f. Well, the next part we're going to look at is how does f prime relate with f double prime? Okay, well, f double prime is a slope of f prime. So really what we're doing is we're graphing the slopes of this. So if we look at this one, we see that f prime, all right, it has a slope of zero, or a slope of zero, zero. So that means f double prime will equal zero on this entire interval. So right here, we're going to have, from here to here, we're going to have that. We are going to have an open circle because there's discontinuity here. Well, obviously, since there's discontinuity for f prime, there's going to be discontinuity for f double prime. So we're not going to have anything there. We then look at this part, and we see that we have a straight line here. Okay, a straight line. So what is the slope of this line? Well, we can go, all right, rise of 1, 2, 3, 4, over run of 1, 2, 
so we have a slope of 2. So since we have a slope of 2, that means f double prime is going to equal a constant 2. All right, so over here, I'm going to move this over there. Our constant 2, all right, is going to be right there. And we're going to go from negative 1 to 1. Constant of 2. We then see that, once again, we have a corner for this second derivative, or uh, for this first derivative, with a corner changing this. And we notice that we have, once again, f prime has a slope of 0 on this interval, so f double prime is going to equal 0. So starting here, we're going to have an open circle, and we're going to have a 0 here, and that's what our graph is going to be. So our graph is going to be... Looks like a step function, a piecewise graph, of constant values because we have slopes of 0, 2, and 0 again. And that's the derivative of f double prime. All right, so that is how we can graph or sketch graphs of f double prime and f double prime given the graphs of f prime. Okay. Enjoy. I hope this helps out with your homework and other an understanding of graphs of different varied levels of differential differentials.